好，第三十條咧就係講翻一啲環保組織啦，佢哋聲稱啦，素食咧係對個環境係有益嘅。咁喺 A、B、C、D 邊一個係個原因啦？咁由於題目咧，今次佢講啊，素食咧係對環境有利啊，所以當我哋要睇 A、B、C、D 嘅時候咧，就唔好淨係睇佢啱與唔啱，而真係咧佢一定要同環境咧係有關係嘅。咁啊做一擊破啦喎，咁啊 A 咧佢就講啦，蔬菜咧就比動物咧成長得快啲嘅。咁呢句冇本身冇錯噶，咁啊種棵菜。菜心同養隻牛咧，咁種棵菜心梗係快啲啦，係咪？咁但係 A 點解唔係答案咧？係因為啦，佢只不過係講緊 food production 啫嘛，去整啲食物出嚟啫嘛，係咪？咁又唔關環境事嘅。B 啦，佢就講咯，素食咧就能夠去保護一啲濒臨絕種嘅物種，咁啊因為啦少啲動物咧就被殺。咁第一個要解決就係我平時我哋食開嘅動物咧，嚟嚟去嘅加速咪就係牛啦、雞啦、豬咧、魚咧，係咪？都係呢幾款嘅啫。咁雖然係有人呢，的確係會食一啲頻臨絕種嘅物種嘅。咁當然啦，的確係有啲人呢，係會食呢啲頻臨絕種嘅物種嘅，嗰啲鯨魚呀、啊、野生動物呀嗰啲。咁但係今次 option B 呢，佢主要個關注點呢，係生物多樣性，就唔係環境嘅問題，所以又唔關事啦。跟住去到 C 佢就話啦，種蔬菜咧就會產生氧氣，咁但係養動物嘅話咧就淨係會用氧氣。咁呢句其實都想去針對翻個 photosynthesis 同埋個 respiration 啫。咁呢句本身冇錯嘅，之但係咧 option C 佢關注嘅咧就係氧氣嘅高低，而氧氣嘅高低根本都唔係環保人士嘅主要嘅關注嘅地方，所以啦都係錯嘅。咁所以答案啦就一定係 D 啦。咁當我哋素食嘅時候啦，就即係我哋養少咗動物啦，係咪？咁所以呢，就能夠減少到呢，基於去飼養一啲禽畜家畜所去放出嘅二氧化碳啦。咁條題目呢，當然考我哋嘅其中一樣嘢就係二氧化碳係一款温室氣體啦。而當我哋啦養好多牛嘅時候咧，一個咁大量嘅牛嘅羣體啊，就會放好大量嘅二氧化碳出嚟啦。都仲未計咧，牛咧仲會釋放另一款嘅温室氣體咧，就係、是、methane， 就係甲烷啊。咁呢一款嘅温室氣體咧，比二氧化碳更加強勁嘅。咁啊，除咗呢個之外啦，我仲想提多一樣嘢，就係、是、養家畜啊、禽畜啊，其實呢係會耗用咗好多嘅水資源。例如而家我哋要養牛啦，我哋就要種一笪草地，跟住喂啲草俾啲牛食。咁其實咁大笪嘅草地，我哋攞嚟種菜心啊、種薯仔啊、種下粟米啊，都已經可以 f u l f i l 到一個糧食嘅需求啦，亦都可以減少到二氧化碳嘅排放嘅。咁所以答案呢就係啲啦。Okay, so let's take a look at question thirty. It's talking about some environmental protection groups. They claim that vegetarian diet is good for our environment. Because the focus of this question is talking about vegetarian diet is good for the environment, so that's why for the options A, B, C, D, we need to find a reason. It must be related to the benefit to the environment. So let's take a look at option A. It's talking about vegetables grow faster than the animal. So of course, this statement is true itself. Growing a choy sum is faster than growing a cow. So this reason is focused on faster food production instead of environment protection. So that's why option A is wrong. And for option B, vegetarian diet it can help to protect the endangered species because less animal are killed for food. So the first idea we need to think about is that the major types of animal we feed on should be the pig, fish, chicken, cow, something like this. Of course, there are some people they really feed on the endangered species, for example, the whale or the、uh, wild animals. But this option is related to the biodiversity instead of the environment protection. So that's why B is wrong. And for option C, growing vegetables can produce oxygen, but rearing animal only consume oxygen. Of course, for option C, is related to the photosynthesis and respiration to see the idea that the plants they can. Carry out photosynthesis and then to produce oxygen, but the animal they cannot. They can only carry out respiration. So it seems like that this statement is true. It's not related to the environment protection because the oxygen level high or low, 
is not the major concern of the environment problem. So that was C is wrong. So that's why the answer should be D. Because if we adopt the vegetarian diet, it means that we do not feed on animal at all. So that's why it can reduce the emission of carbon dioxide associated with wearing animal for food. So first of all, carbon dioxide is a type of greenhouse gas. That's the concept we have to know. And then if we wear the cow for food, so that means this large population of cow, they will release a large amount of carbon dioxide. And apart from the carbon dioxide, and the cow will also produce methane, which is a more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. And one more thing I would like to talk about is that for the wearing the cow, for example, we need to consume a lot of water because we need to plant the grasses and then feed the cow with the grass. So that's why in this farmland, so what about we can plant some potatoes, choy some, so it can fulfill the food demand. And the more important point is we can reduce the emission of greenhouse gas, for example, carbon dioxide.